I also welcome uh, to the Jenkins' uh, The Way Online Meetup. Uh, today we have a presentation uh, by our GSOC 2020 student, Slavin Minas. So Slavin will present the uh, custom Jenkins distribution build service. It's a project he's working on. So Slavin, uh, yeah. you can proceed with the presentation. Yeah, so I'm going to be sharing my screen. Mm -hmm. Let me know when it's visible. You see the screen? Uh, yes. Yeah. So let's begin. Uh, so I'm a student for Google Summer of Code 2020. And uh, I'm going to be doing a presentation on the custom distribution service. As you can see, um, we have a wonderful mentor team of uh, Kristen and uh, Rick and our technical advisor. Like, Yeah. So let's see what the current problem is. So for many users, they generally download Jenkins first, then select some plugins, configure them. And it might take a lot of time, you know, setting up the entire configuration, um, downloading it, especially if you have any network problems. So this can, this can be quite a time consuming task. So it would be, um, I mean, we thought that we could solve this problem, um, by getting a custom distribution service. So let me just shift over to the next slide. And you'll come to know more about it. So what the project is about. So the project is about creating a out of the box usable Jenkins distribution with a very, very clean, simple user interface, a community shared configurations. So that, I mean, if, if the user creates a configuration that is very widely used in the community, for example, Jenkins on AWS or Jenkins on Kubernetes, something like that configuration can be, um, can be easily shared. I'll just start on my pointer a bit. Yeah. yeah. And uh, also for easy access around the world. So sometimes, um, you know, while you're uh, using your Jenkins instance, it may be possible that downloading plugins might be a bit difficult for you uh, since you, um, since you might face some network issues or, uh, you know, that proxy might be disabled in your network. So we plan to work around that problem with easy access, community shared configurations and uh, a simple user interface and out of the box Jenkins distribution. So these are four of the major deliverables of this project. And uh, yeah, we plan to implement it in the current GSOC. Yeah, so what is the project motivation? So the main project motivation is we work hard so that you don't have to. Um, we plan to abstract most of the problems away from the user so that he doesn't have to, um, you know, download the entire Jenkins distribution, configure the plugins, and then uh, download the WAR file and then keep doing that again and again. So we have tried to do most of that work on our side so that what you have to do is just simply configure the, um, I mean, configure it via web UI and you'll have the Jenkins distribution right out of the box. Okay. So making the Jenkins initial setup very, very simple. So in very, very simple terms, what you have to do is you select your favorite plugins, you customize the configurations and you relax. So this is the general flow of Jenkins when you even install the Jenkins instance and do your um, configuration and stuff. So we plan to do that or make it easier using a very, very simple uh, web user interface. So using that web user interface, you can select all of your favorite plugins. You can go back and forth, customize them, and then just sit back and download the WAR file. And uh, we will do all of the packaging and stuff for you. The service will then generate a ready to use Jenkins, what as I just said. You just need to download the WAR file and run it right out of the box without any hassle of, um, of any you know, um, uh, downloading it again and then configuring it and stuff. So we will give you our out of the box Jenkins uh, instance. If you look at it in the bigger picture, um, you may have instances uh, which are already configured for AWS or Kubernetes and, you know, using various Kubernetes operators and so on. So this service really makes it very, very easy for you to just download and use the instance right of the box. Yeah, there's more obviously. So downloading community created configurations, um, you know, directly using this service will be very, very helpful for most of the viewers. I would like to take you to a page right now. Um, that is, um, the Jenkins formulas page that currently exists. So if you have a look at this repository, it is maintained by one of the mentors for this project, Rick, and this has a set of Jenkins formulas. 
so these jenkins formulas are basically war files or instances that you can just direct download so blue ocean and multi branch pipeline multi branch pipeline and so on now these are most of the common use cases so we have formulas for them um you can download these formulas and make use of them straight away so our service will kind of make these custom configurations that are generated by the community available to the community on a large scale so that's one of the aims of this project so you will be now instead of navigating to this github repository you will uh, just get these you know community use configurations or formulas directly on our web service which will uh, reduce a lot of workload you know searching for all of this so you don't what if you don't know that it's called jenkins formulas so yeah that that's going to be happening much easier yeah so getting back to the presentation yeah so now it's time for some demo so let me just exit this right so as you can see here so this is just a prototype um expect some dragons if anything does go wrong during the demo or the presentation please mistakes are my own um but yeah this is just a prototype so if you can see here um this is the list of plugins so i've not showed all of the 1600 plugins that jenkins has but i have shown around 15 to 20 so these plugins as you can see will be just pulled up from the update center and you will see all of the plugins that jenkins does provide uh, even on a normal instance and what you can do right now is um, just add them to configuration so say i wanted the google cloud sdk so i added to configuration if i wanted the list, uh, verify status report or i added to configuration so so on and so forth i just can keep adding my configurations one after the other and uh, obviously we will give you a chance to edit configurations these buttons are just for demo right now. but um, as the prototype develops or as the project develops you will get to see these functionalities in uh, in in the flesh so right now they're just button so um, you will have a chance to edit every single configuration so if you want specific configurations for say these uh, triggers of the azure storage you will be um, provided an option to edit the configuration another feature that we have planned is edit version so you will also be provided with um, with the version to i mean you will be given the latest version obviously but you will also be given version to be edited so you can change it to whatever you want but um, do expect some um, bugs in this because some versions might be interdependent um there might be minimum versions for certain plugins it might not let you build the war uh, if the versions do not match so yeah that's a feature for the last phase also one of the things that you will be given uh, will be a text box so you can provide the jenkins version uh, number whatever is the latest one and uh, you'll also be able to provide a configuration description so that once you want to share it with the community you will have a better i mean you will be able to uh, show the world what kind of configuration you made so yeah uh, if you click submit right now it will um, i mean it should take you to this page it's just a dummy so yeah uh, this is the page that it will take you to you will have the jcas yml i haven't yet spoken about this but um, for those users who don't know what jcas is uh, jcas allows you to configure um, jenkins plugins via a simple j uh, uh, yml file so jenkins configuration is one of the projects that you can go check out it lets you configure the entire jenkins instance using a simple yml file so once you've configured all of your plugins you will get a jcas yml that you can then edit so if i'm not happy with the username i can just you know change the username yeah look yeah so i can change the username as i want you can change the password you can use secret vault storage and so on and so forth so this one will be generated on our side you don't have to worry about what goes in here you just configure your plugins normally and uh, we will take care of config i'm um, generating the jcas yml for you so if you can see here i will show you a demo of that as well so as you can see this is uh, the ssh plugin or the ssh configuration for jenkins so we will provide you with a basic very very simple use, user interface as you've seen in the slides one of the main um, main deliverables for the project is a simple user interface uh, the jenkins user interface can get cluttered at times so we plan to abstract that away from the user and make it very very easy for him to use um so simple user interface is one of the main deliverables and uh, we plan to deliver on it um so, so as you can see this is the ssh system configuration you can set your system message say hello world to a number of tries maybe maximum time more than seconds 67 seconds or whatever 25 seconds yeah and ssh tcp node id so what are booleans and stuff whatever check boxes true or false values can easily be 
uh, put in here. So if you have, um, I mean, whatever sort of plugin that you are going to configure, you will get a basic form on this page. Uh, and once you hit submit, you will get the, yeah, you will get the JCASC YML generated to you right out of the box. So this is for the plugin configuration and uh, you can easily configure whatever you want. I mean, down to the packager config. So this is one of the, uh, this is one of the heavy lifting libraries, the custom word packager. I can uh, just show it to you. So we have the custom. So custom, custom war package is maintained by Oleg. Um, it's one of the one of the most powerful packages. It uh, helps you to uh, convert a package or config into a Jenkins war right out of the box. So this is one of the heavy lifting libraries that we are going to be using for our project. So as you can see, since it makes use of YAML configuration, we will convert whatever plugins you select into something like this. So this is an example YML or a package or config YML. So you can see here, whatever plugins you selected in the previous instance now show up here with their latest version pulled up from the update center. You will also have a chance to select custom update centers. Uh, if at all you are working in a company and you have your own update center, we will provide you with the option to connect to your update center. So as you see, some of the versions are selected based on their latest ones. So if you, if you have edited them and if you missed the chance to edit them, you can go ahead and edit whatever package or config YML that you want here. So, yeah. And of course your task file. So this file you've generated here, the JCASC YML uh, matches the one that will be generated here. So you can use this right out of the box. You can download these two as a package and then run Jenkins right out of the box without even configuring a single thing. Obviously, if you want to edit it, you'll have to edit it manually, but um, for initial setup, you can definitely use some of these um, tools right out of the box. So yeah, so that was the explanation of what these two editors are. This is the JCAS YML, this is the package config, and uh, these two will help you to um, generate your custom Jenkins distribution service. So now that we have the two main ingredients that we need to generate, we will be providing users with these buttons. So as you can see, they're haphazardly arranged here. Uh, apologies for that, but yeah, this is just for demo purposes. You will get the option to download JCAS YML. So if I hit download JCAS YML, yeah, as you can see in my bottom left of the screen here, um, I have the cask YML downloaded. It has eight because I've done it many times over, but um, yeah, so you will get to download individual files. So if you, if you download the uh, file, you will get a chance here. There you see. So one thing I forgot to mention is that you will also get to download the Docker file. Um, the custom bar package does a pretty neat job on um, generating a Docker for you. We are um, leveraging the custom bar packager again to get, generate and download the Docker file. Uh, another good thing is the um, thing that you are here for is downloading the WAR file. So this might take some time because uh, the WAR file, and I've not provided a spinner, apologies for that. Uh, the spinner will let you know how long it will take to download the WAR file because we are um, doing the entire generation manually. So if you can see this terminal here, not to go too much into the code, but uh, if you see this terminal, this is what's happening. It's building the war and the, uh, the necessary libraries that are there. This might take some time. It will happen as So we don't have to worry about that for now. So yeah, if you, if you still think that you need to add more plugins, you can go back to add plugins to configuration page, which will take you back to the initial, initial kind of uh, page that you have for all of the plugins. And then you can add more plugins to it. So this is all about the plugin configuration. One thing that I would like to add in addition to this is the rebuild configurations page. So the rebuild configurations page uh, actually let you as a community develop as many configurations as possible. So if you're developing um, the configuration as, as pipeline or cask plus pipeline plus data, Kubernetes or whatever. So we will be arranging these plugins in kind of um, just the way it's arranged on the Jenkins plugin side, uh, relevance, most used, um, labels and, and so on and so forth. You can even search for those plugins. The search feature doesn't work for now, but uh, I've just provided a bar there so that it signifies that it's a prototype. But uh, this, is, um, this is what is the main um, aim for this page is to be able to let the community provide you know, the most used configurations. So, so as you can see, if you click on view config, it'll take you back to this page. I told you, these are the two main ingredients you need. Uh, so as you can see here, I've selected the multi-branch pipeline. So I did show you earlier that it is picked up from Jenkins formulas. So if you can, if you scroll down here, the multi-branch pipeline is right here, the ocean plus multi-branch pipeline. And uh, as you can see here, that's the same thing that is downloaded. So 
this is this comes with a host of plugins so if a user has developed one of the most famous configurations you can just use it right out of the box without having to uh, configure this file yourself so you will get this file sometimes you might even get the cask yml if it is supported if it isn't you might have to configure it on your own but i guess most of them do come with the, yeah most of them do come with the cask yml so yeah um that's about it for community configurations so just remember that if you community configurations you can find them you'll be able to find them here that was one of the main uh, deliverables of the project if i take you back into the slides community shared configurations so i've covered simple user interface community shared configurations and easy access around the world uh, i don't have any prototype for this right now because uh, we're still figuring out how we can make it very easily accessible for servers around the world so um, this might be uh, related to reducing caching latency and so on and so forth yeah. yeah this was one of the deliverables that i would like to touch on okay so now that i have covered most of the major aspects of what you will be expecting from this service um so now the question that pops up in your mind is how can i share this entire configuration so now that i've developed say i've developed something some configuration that is pretty used around the world and i want to share it uh, i we will be providing you with a create a pull request so we plan to show these configurations in something similar to the uh, to the um, jenkins formula space so as you can see we have the formula space right here um we will try to use this repository again maybe to show store most of the common configurations so if you can see here i'll just show you a live demo of it um, so you can write your pull request description so this pull request uh, describes the package config and your branch name so maybe uh, demo 6 demo 5 so what will th this will do is it will open a pull request in in the most in this repository for instance and once the jenkins community or the jenkins um the maintainers of the repository view it you will have the chance to merge it in and you will have a you will have it displayed in the prebuilt configuration so that the entire community can use we will be adding support for storing the configuration in private repository but um, for now that's not supported yet so if at all i hit submit um you should probably see yeah here it is so this is just a repository for now it is not uh one that is uh this is just a sandbox repository so as you can see the pull request shows the description it shows you what files have been changed it adds your entire configuration file into the pull request so uh the maintainers can just review and merge this pull request so once the maintainer review and merge this will get merged and it will show up into your uh most used configurations file so just go back for a second yeah here it is so yeah this will show you the link and you will be able to check out where the pull request is exactly uh, just a disclaimer the project the ui might look a bit different than what it now is but um, we'll have we will be working on fixing that if you have any uh, doubts or issues or the way it's handled so yeah this was about it for the entire configuration i do not think i'm missing any other uh, major feature um so that was it for this part of the demo let me take you back to the slide for a second so you know how to um, get more involved so yeah so how you can participate so we are planning on our uh, users if users can test out more of the configurations it would be really helpful for all of us so the github link is um, this just keeps changing um i'll use my pointer yeah so this is the github url i'll still take it to you in a second uh this is the github url for the project this is the github chat so you can come in and say hi and uh, we do have the project links so if you want to visit the project links you can so i'll just take you to the gitter chat for an instance yeah this is the gitter chat so please feel free to jump in the gitter chat and provide as much feedback as you can because this this service would benefit the community um you can check out the project at custom distribution service um just let me yeah so this is the repository um feel free to participate in code reviews in maybe opening new issues when you test out the repositories when you feel that there is something that you want to provide in it please feel free to jump in and you know make suggestions um yeah that was about it for that um okay coming into what's next so we have the gsoc phase 1 that is starting from today for the till the end of this month and gsoc is is divided into three main major phases for those who don't know uh, this is just phase 1 so what we will be doing is we will be focusing on implementing the project <laughs> that's sorry for mentioning that but uh, yeah we will be implementing uh, i will be sharing with you the milestones in a minute but we will be um, implementing most of it 
and more discussion and brainstorming. So that was the entire point of this prototype so that we can have more discussions and brainstorming on, on, on the majority of the topics. So yeah, so taking you to the milestones plan, this is the final um, slide. We'll take you to the screen here, which will show you the entire list of milestones. GSOC phase one. So yeah, this is the entire list of milestones that we have planned um, for the phase, uh, for the entire phase one, uh, they are divided into two major epics, the custom war generation and the homepage, obviously, because you want to be able to select plugins. So we will, we have divided them into very, very small minor tickets. So uh, apologies if you, if I don't, cannot read all of them, but yeah, the two major one is the war generation and rendering homepage for phase one. Um, if you feel that you, that we can add any more features, please feel free to open an issue or ticket here. Um, but yeah, that was about it for the entire, um, milestone generation um i think we are done for the planning so uh for the demo so yeah th uh, thank you everyone for attending i'm going to shift over the mic back to oleg thanks for your presentation Sladen. so are there any questions from participants Let's see so we didn't get any questions in the zoom Kone. Uh, but if you have some, uh, uh, please uh, feel free to ask. Um, so, yeah, regarding to myself, yeah, we have meetings almost every week. So, I think that I don't have specific questions. Uh, Sladen, uh, maybe uh, one item is about uh, JCASC configuration, etc. Uh, do you plan to integrate the service with uh, the verification tools uh, you have created during the previous year? Yeah, actually that was, uh, we discussed that in the previous meeting. So mm -hmm. if at all we are able to generate a JCAS configuration, we will be taking it through the entire verification. Bridge, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. And yeah, uh, also a question regarding uh, Docker images. Uh, so, what exactly would you allow to download? Would it be a Docker file or would it be just a Docker image? So, for now, we're just allowing a Docker file because the Jenkins custom bar package gives us that out of the box. So, you can definitely download it. But if we do have a chance to host it on Docker Hub, yeah, it would be even better. Yeah, there is one minor detail about the implementation that uh, the Docker file produced by customer packages now. I, you won't be able to just download it and build it. So there will be modifications needed if you want to achieve such flow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, what I'm uh, planning to do with custom work packager is actually uh, add support of Kanika builds so that mm -hmm. uh, you could actually run the build of the image within uh, uh, custom work packager container so that uh, it can produce the image on its own. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure what would be timing for this feature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe if we could, uh, I mean, if at all we complete some of the distribution uh, service generation early, we, maybe I can contribute on that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why not? So, Any contributor questions <laughs> uh, will be much appreciated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, maybe for everyone else, uh, could you please uh, repeat what would be the best communication channels if somebody wants to contribute? Yeah, um, so I can, I think I can give, share my screen. Yeah. So the best channel would be the, the Gator channel. So we are very, very active here. So feel free to join. Uh, you can post your questions, discussions, queries. Even if you want to just say hi, just jump in. So that is the primary communication channel. And also the, I can take you to the project page. So just give me a second. So. We do have uh, meetings, so the, you can find the meeting set. Okay, not this page. Yeah. So, yeah, so meetings are scheduled every Tuesday and every Thursday. So if you want to attend, please uh, come to the Gator chat. You'll find the meeting link there. Or you can also find the meeting link on the Jenkins event calendar. Mm -hmm. Jenkins event calendar, yeah. 
So if you look at the Jenkins event calendar, you will find uh, the custom distribution services. Uh, should be on Tuesday. Here it is. So you will find the link uh, if it isn't posted. Yeah, well, uh, I also posted uh, one link to the chat. Yeah, for the Gitter channel. So in the case of any questions, Gitter is a great uh, entry point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are there any other questions or comments from participants? Okay, it looks like not. So uh, thanks again, Sladen, for your presentation. And Amazing. Yeah, looking forward uh, to keep working with you. And yeah, we will have another presentation at the end of the first coding phase in one month. Yeah. And by that time, let's see uh, whether we get a working service or whether uh, we keep working on that. But yeah, we still have three months of coding. Today is just an official first day. Yeah. See you again in a month. Yeah. Uh, thanks for a demo. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Okay. Thanks, all.